Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy, the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I wanted to talk about how, you know, the dating game is exactly what it's supposed to be, right? It's exactly what it's supposed to be, you know, and the reason why I say that is because I see a lot of videos on YouTube where guys have this thought process where they'll say like, you know, the dating game is rigged and, you know, shit is fucked up nowadays and, you know, people have to acknowledge that, you know, these women out here are, are, are terrible and, and it's not the same like it used to be and this is why shit is fucked up out of here when it comes to dealing with these chicks and all this other goofy shit, right? But what I'm telling you guys is that the dating game is exactly where it's supposed to be you understand and what happens is that you have a lot of people out there who you know they want to like sort of blame shit like let's say for example social media I've hear, i hear guys say social media has changed the game not really <laughs> you understand what i'm saying not really because dudes to say for example they'd be like oh well you know women are out here getting so much attention and so it's hard for guys to get women because they get so much attention no women have always been getting attention right so this this is the funny part that I, this is what i find funny the guys who say this type of shit right are usually guys who already had a hard time getting girls you understand what I'm saying? So you have guys out of here who already had a hard time getting girls trying to blame social media on the fact that they having a hard time getting girls. No, nigga, you, you were always having a hard time getting girls. You understand what I'm saying? Because the guys who, you know, knew how to attract women, they were attracting women before social media and they're attracting women after social media. The same women who are getting a bunch of attention on social media were also getting a bunch of attention when there wasn't social media. You understand what I'm saying? It's the same shit. Right? But see, people, they, they want to find things to blame and not look at themselves. Because look, it's not the dating game that's fucked up. You understand? It's not the dating game. It's you. You understand what I'm saying? It's you. It's not the dating game. It's you. And like I said, everything is going how it's supposed to go. See, the the guys who are attractive are going to get the women. Period. The guys who not are not. Period. It, 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 you understand what I'm saying? And now, let's say you're a guy who's not attractive. That doesn't mean that you you are doomed to be not attractive forever no you can become attractive but just understand that the attractive guys get the women and the guys who aren't attractive don't right so when you start blaming shit on oh it's because social media has changed it no it's it's still the same shit because the attractive guys can get on social media holler at chicks and get those girls the guys who aren't attractive, who don't have game, you understand what I'm saying? They're not going to get any chicks or they're going to get, you know, a small amount or chicks they don't really want to fuck with. And then they're going to be like, you see, it's all this attention these women getting. The dating game is rigged. And no, no, no. Ain't nothing wrong with the dating game. You understand? There is nothing wrong with this shit. See, it's like the, it's like the equivalent of, uh, you know, like a, a musician saying because they're streaming now, like the, 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 you know, the music industry is fucked up because back in the day, motherfuckers could, they had to buy my CD before they could hear my album. But now because of streaming, they can just go on Spotify and stream my shit. 
right? No, it's not. It, it, it's it's. Listen, it's no different. Meaning that when the person streams your shit, you still make money. You understand what I'm saying? And also, what will happen is, as an artist, you have to make good shit. You have to make good music for a person to want to actually, you know, listen to your shit. Same thing back in the day. You have to make good music for a person to even want to buy your shit. Now, a person may say, oh, but because it's streaming, it's free. So it's a different thing. So people don't got to pay for it. They could just go in and listen to it. Right. But again, it's still the same thing because the artist still has to make the type of music that a person wants to listen to, to even go to listen to it for free. You don't just listen to music for free just because it's free. You understand? I'm sure a person who is into hip hop is not going to listen to a damn Garth Brooks album just because it's free. It's not going to happen. You understand what I'm saying? So the same thing you needed to do to get someone to buy your shit back in the day when it comes to music is the same thing you need to do to get people to listen to your shit streaming so you can make the money, which is make good music to get the people to come and listen to your shit. You understand? So the same thing you needed to do to get a woman back in the day, which is be an attractive man, is the same thing you need to do now in the social media age to get a woman is be an attractive man. You understand what I'm saying? All of this shit you talking about oh well shit is different now and because women are getting attention i can't get a girl no nigga you can't get a girl because you ain't got no fucking game you understand what i'm saying like this shit is ridiculous the amount of fucking coping and and you know bullshit excuses niggas got nowadays you understand? Oh, the dating game is rigged and all, all these chicks want to just use you and these chicks just want to fucking, you know, uh, you know, they want you to go out and spend a lot of money on them and, and they don't give you no sex and they want to put you in a friend zone. No, they're doing that to you because you ain't got no game. It ain't got to do nothing with it being 2019 or 20 or whatever the fuck you listening to this shit or it ain't got nothing to do with oh because we got social media and instagram and and chicks is getting likes it ain't got nothing to do with oh because of tinder and you know the chicks get to swipe and on you know and, and they want to fuck the chads and the tyrones and no it ain't got nothing to do with that shit stop stop blaming all this other shit no you're not getting women because you don't have game you understand what i'm saying that's why you are not that attractive man. It's that simple. It's not about social media. It's not the dating game is rigged. It's not because of Me Too and all this other extra shit. It's none of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's none of that shit. In fact, this is the funny part. If you have game, all of that shit should be, you know, like the, the social media and all that other extra shit. That, can, that should be used to your advantage. You understand? That should be used to your advantage. Because listen, man, I, bruh, let me, let me tell you guys something, man. Let me tell you guys something, okay? I should not be having this much sex. You understand? I, like, I almost think this is ridiculous that I'm, that, that I'm able to have this much sex. It's ridiculous. You understand? See, before social media, right? I'd have to go out and talk to these women in person. And that would be like basically the only way I could do it. You understand what I'm saying? To get the amount of sex I'm getting now. You understand? And I probably wouldn't even get as much because, you know, I would have to just do crazy amounts of work to get to that, you know, level or to that number of women. But I'm like, okay, we got the social media, so I'm not looking at it like, damn, this shit is fucking shit up. No, I'm using it to its advantage to make it work for me. But again, none of this shit is going to, you know, really help you if you ain't got no game. You understand what I'm saying? See, people love to sort of like point out or blame all this other shit oh the dating game is rigged you know chicks you know they're acting this way or they got this going on or the me too thing or you know 
uh, this is why we're MGTOW and incel and the red pill and all this other extra shit. But nobody don't want to look in the mirror and say, okay, what am I doing? What is it about me that's making the situations I'm in not work for me? Because it's working for somebody. It's working for some people. You understand what I'm saying? It's working for those guys over there. So why can't it work for me? And the reason why it's not working for you is because you're taking a lot of time to blame every fucking thing else. You're taking a lot of time to, you know, say that it's this other shit. Thank you, brother. you know what I mean? I appreciate all right. it. All right, thanks a lot. You're taking another, you're taking all this time to, you know, look at all this other shit except for looking at yourself. You understand? It's really that simple. Again, it's not the dating game. You understand? It's you. You have to understand this. It's not the dating game. Because what you have to understand is, is that everything you want to happen is happening because someone else is making it happen. So if they're making it happen, how come you can't make it happen? How come the, the game isn't rigged for them? You understand what I'm saying? It is not like, oh, it's just the Chads and the Tyrones and all this other stupid shit that's getting the chicks. No. You understand what I'm saying? It's everyday average dudes getting it in, but they realize they had to do something. You feel what I'm saying? So, motherfuckers need to, like, stop and get off this shit where they want to, you know, point fingers and, oh, it's because of this and it's because of that. And you want to come up with all these conspiracy theories and all this other goofy shit. And I'm like, bruh, y'all out here on some bullshit. All right? So, that's pretty much it, guys. Listen, if you have any questions, uh, click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you go, make sure you click the link below to get your free copy of the audio program, Undeniable Game. This program is going to teach you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. In this audio program, you'll learn exactly what you need to do to become that confident man women are attracted to. You'll also learn what you must do to become better at approaching and talking to women. You'll learn why women don't return your calls and what to do to increase the chances of women returning your calls. You'll also learn the only time you should call or text a woman. You'll learn how to start conversations with women. You'll learn the mindset you must have to be successful with women. You'll also learn the main thing you need to do to figure out if a woman is really interested in you and much more. So make sure you click the link below to get your copy today.